So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the present value of a single cash flow. So when I say single cash flow, what I mean is, uh, let, let's actually write this out with an example. So here we are today, and at some point in the future, let's say one year from now, one year from now, you're going to receive a cash flow. So let's say that that cash flow is for $100 you're going to receive $100 a, a year from now. So what we want to do is we want to calculate uh, the present value, the value today of that cash flow $100 uh, a, a year from now. So what we're trying to do is find this. What is the value today of $100 received uh, a year from now? And so we're taking the present value. So the, the nice thing is that we can think about this conceptually in a really easy way. And so the way we can think about it is, how much would we have to invest today in order to get $100 uh, a year from now? Would we have to put in maybe $90, $95, 97 Well, it depends on a couple things. Now, one thing is the, the interest rate. So we need to discount this at an interest rate. So what? let's use the rate. Let's say that we could go to our bank and get a rate of 5% interest uh, on a CD or, or some kind of investment opportunity so then that's that's going to be our rate our rate will be five percent and so what we're trying to say is okay today if we invested a certain amount at five percent interest it would end up being a hundred dollars at the end of the year so we're just trying to that's just one another way of thinking about it if it's easier for you but there's a really uh, nice convenient formula that's going to allow us uh, uh, to calculate that. And so the formula is, so the present value, which is this, what we're trying to answer there, that question mark, what is the value today of this $100 a year from now? The present value is equal to the cash flow, which I'll call C. C is our cash flow, which in this case uh, is $100 one year from now. So the cash flow uh, and that is going to be divided by, let's make sure we've got plenty of space here, uh, 1 plus R. If you've got a short-term memory here, R is 5%. So all we do is just say, okay, well, to get the present value of this, this $100 one year from now, uh, we're going to take 100, our cash flow, that's the C, over one plus, and then instead of 5%, we just convert that to a decimal, which is 0 0.05, okay? So that's gonna give us, now I'll just simplify it again, 100 over 1.05, and I'll change here. So if, we, if you calculate that out, you run the number, it's 95.24, and that's, that's a dollar amount. So what what is that saying here? So that's saying that this 9524 if you invested that today at 5% interest, you would have $100 one year from now. So when we think about this $100 a year from now and we say okay, well there's a time value to money and and uh, you know, $100 a year from now isn't worth the same as $100 uh, today, then we think, okay, well, what is uh, $100 a year from now? What is that worth today? Well, it's worth $95.24 because that's the amount we would have to invest today at 5% interest uh, in order to get $100 a year from now. So, but now you might be thinking, okay, well, what if, what if we have a situation where it's, more than one year from now. What if we have something where we're we're all the way out, and maybe it's like five years from now? Can we still use this formula here? Uh, well, we're actually going to have to tweak it a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to account for the number of time periods. So let's say you know two. This would be two years from now, and then let's say this is three, and, and, and so forth. Uh, and we're going to have a little little t that we add there. And T is going to represent the number of time periods. So, so let me just scroll down uh, here for a moment because it's getting a little messy. I apologize. So now let's think about this. So we've got, let's say, 10 years from now. 
So let's see here. We've got a similar problem, and, and we've got here today, and and then we've got this cash flow of a hundred dollars. But now this is ten years out. Ten years from now, we're going to receive a hundred dollars. Okay. So now we need to know the value here. So it's a similar type problem, but we've got more than one period, more than one year. Now let's assume that, that we're dealing uh, with the same uh, rate of interest. So we'll assume again, you can go to your bank and get 5% return if, if you wanted. And so now our T, the thing that I added uh, to the formula, that's gonna be 10. Now let, let me rewrite this formula so you can kind of kind of see it. So the present value, and again we're talking about that, oops, talking about that hundred dollars. The present value of that hundred dollars, we're talking about the C, the cash flow, which is the hundred dollars over one plus R to the T power. Okay. Now let's just all we have to do is just just plug in numbers here. So we're talking about the cash flow again is a hundred dollars. And then that's going to be over 1 plus 0 0.05, similar to the previous problem. But now we're going to take that to the T power, which is 10. 10 periods, 10 years. So we've got 100 over 1.05 to the 10th power. And what does that give us? Well, that gives us $61.39. $61.39. What that is equal to. So, well, what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that we would have to invest $61.39 today in order to receive $100 10 years from now, assuming that we were receiving a 5% rate of return on our investment. So, if someone says, I'll give you $100 10 years from now, and you say, well, what is that really worth to me today? And you say, oh, I can go and, and earn 5% return. Well, that $100 10 years from now, then, assuming that rate of return, is really worth $61.39 to you today.